Legend of Total War here with part 16 of my Mount and Blade Warband uh, Anno Domini 1257 AD Let's Play campaign as Legend of the Conqueror. So we've declared war on Venice and we fought a few battles. Uh, battles. We had a bit of a... not a great battle at this area here, Shivari. Shivari, whatever. But uh, we're still okay. We defeated their king but we didn't capture him. Or the doge, whatever. And now I think it's time to actually assault Venezia. I don't think the first one's going to be successful. Just due to the number of men that we have, I don't think it's going to be enough. Let them deal with that. It's no big deal. Oh, hang on. Here's their army. Okay. Alright. So they've actually got more lords than I thought they did. This is actually quite a lot. We've already captured one of them as well. See, my guys just piss off at the side of it. They're probably heading to Ven um, Ancona. And of course, most of my guys are still wounded, including myself. So I need to know, where's Nestor? Nestor needs to be down the bottom. There he is. See, he's been fighting, that's no good. He needs to stay right down the bottom. If we're gonna make use of his healing ability. Yeah, it looks to me like they're going straight for Ancona. But if they if they besiege it, I say let them have it. I don't know what they're doing. Let's have a look at the notes. Yeah, let them take it, and then we just take it straight back off them again. What I'll do here is tell my guys that the campaign's over, so they go home and fix themselves up. And if I can just, I don't know, pick off some of these stragglers, that would be great. But I can't go fight them all at once. There's, there must be a thousand men there. It's got nothing to do with me. So we're recovering, I'm at full strength again, that's great. And there's a castle over there, maybe I should focus on that. No, I really need to be at a... Oh, come on. I guess we're going to need to go visit a prostitute or something. Last time we tried to defend a settlement, which was Siena, I ended up getting captured and stuck there for ages. Now these guys, they'll they'll take Ancona, there's no doubt about that. And then when they leave, we'll just go back in there and retake it and whatever. Be easy. Okay, so they're assaulting now. They've got how many men? 1,000... Uh, 1, yeah. 1,039 remaining. I'm currently indisposed, bitch. So they got a bit of reinforcements there. That's okay. It's to be expected. Yeah, they split up into two groups. Now the thing is, Ancona now would have, like, no garrison. What? How come they get 147 just to start with? Son of a bitch. Alright, those guys that went up this way, I want to try and catch them. available as well, because I could actually use these guys, even though I've probably got more territory, they've got more lords than me, just because no one showed up. No, no one's here. I'm going to try and win this war quickly, because I'm going to become poor very quickly if I'm not careful. 
We need to take Ancona back as soon as possible because it's just going to buff up the garrison the longer this takes. Back to square one, except probably not in bit as good shape. Okay, good. That guy's left. So although they've, you know, they had more of a garrison than I did, but whatever. Half a day, go back in there, take it back. See, it's gone from rich to poor. Holy shit. They want peace, do they? Um, what happens if I reject it? I'm just not done with this war yet. Maybe if I had Ancona, I would have accepted it, but... No, I'm not done with this war. Too early. What are they, French? Giving up after a week. We've got plenty of money in reserve, and all these, all these settlements that are going from average to poor or whatever, they'll go back up during peacetime. And that money sitting in the bank is really not doing me any good, because there's nothing else I can purchase. What I need are less overall factions in the game, and more territory on my side. There should be no way in hell we're going to lose this battle. We outnumbered them vastly. Fuck, look at all those guys that fell down. Fucking javelin, man. Reinforcements after this fight either because I haven't had time to build up the uh, prison. That's fine. Their king's probably still out of commission. Okay, now it should be clear enough for me to get up there. How are we going so far? 34 killed. We've lost about the same. There. And I can't jump over, so I'll just fall down. It's the quickest way through. Good man to clear that quite easily this time. Very good. 
going for experience. I'm not too far up from that place. should be the last of them. We still probably need to jump over the whole fence thing again. But this time I've got enough health that I should be able to do it all myself. Sounds to me like they're trying to break through the gate now. Like a bunch of idiots. Fuck you. So I press F on that, it won't break down the door. E doesn't do anything. through their shoes. It'd be nice to see their guts spill out everywhere. That should be the last one, right? Yeah. Good. Captured nothing, nothing to celebrate about. Now, if I assigned this to a person, to, uh, this thief to someone, they would actually improve the garrison. However, I'm just thinking, what if I gave it to myself? I know I, I'd have to pay for it, but that way I could just give it to someone else later. I'd probably forget though. I'll give it to myself so that they can start buffing up the garrison. I don't mind paying for it at this stage. Someone was defeated. Doesn't really matter that much. Ah, oh, shit, that's not what I want to do. Who's this? Oh, he's already my guy. Self Lord of. Oh, that's right. If I don't do it though, leave it empty, that'll help more guys show up. That's right. So I can't do that. We're going to lure more lords over here. We need empty fiefs for that. Who's that? I don't know. Some loser. How are we looking? In good enough shape to attack Venezia? Probably not. And they've got a castle over here. Maybe we should attack that, but from experience, castles have been a pain in the ass to attack. It's also fairly far away. Small bands of enemies show near Ravenna. Oh, we have Ravenna now. It's part of Ancona. We don't have enough to assault. And, uh, then again, a siege job might make it easier to attack. We have to sit here for fucking days. I need more food if we're going to do this. The thing is, what happens if their army shows up? Nope, wrong person. Fuck. Hang 
in the expense, we just need to get this done. So yeah, poverty's once again hit our country, but that's okay. I mean, we saved up as much cash as we could. It's pretty much unavoidable during war. Oh, for fuck's sake, the Holy Roman Empire has just declared war on us. So yeah, we kind of knew that things would snowball. Alright, um, how are we going to do this? We need to get a peace treaty with with Venice as soon as possible, but we need to make sure they ask for it. We can't besiege Venice because it takes two days, two and a half days to make the bloody thing. We're going to have to go for Pula over here. I have no doubt the Holy Roman Empire is going to show up soon. With all their renewed strength, they can't fucking take a break, can they? Well, maybe we should just leave Venice alone and go straight for the Holy Roman Empire, weaken them a bit further. No, no, I want to weaken uh, Venice first. I gotta stop this war and then focus on the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so hang on. I didn't have a look at what, what they've got here. 425 men. Are we gonna have enough to do that? Probably not. We can always just uh, maybe go back to Strasbourg, pick up some more troops. I mean, there's a chance we'll win. It depends on what the settlement type is like. If it's a difficult settlement to assault, probably not. I mean, numbers-wise, they outnumber us. But we take this away from them, then that's a couple of their lords that lose their fiefs. Not going to be too happy about working for Venetians anymore. And we've probably got about 24 hours until the Holy Roman Empire show up and besiege Verona, as they usually do. Which makes me think, should we really weaken ourselves? Well, we should be alright. Basil. Oh, fuck. We don't have time to bloody... We can't... Basil is ages away. If it gets taken, it's not the end of the world. Although I do think somebody owns it. I'll have to check who owns Basil. Oh, it's this settlement type. Ah, oh, crap. Fucking Holy Roman Empire always spoiling the fun. We had provocation here. You know, I tell my guys to show up to combat and they don't show up. Get two of my guys out of bloody... I think I've got eight lords. This is why I need more lords. Try and clear off as many of these guys as possible. Try and shoot when they're about to throw. They're shooting me. Like I said, we don't have to win this particular fight, but it would be good if we did. So I guarantee you what I'll do is I'll go probably back to Milan, pick up some more troops and just head straight back over here. have to take Basel as a loss. It's too far away anyway. And as soon as we're done with uh, Venice, hopefully we can get a peace treaty with them sooner rather than later. Oh crap, it's not going too well over here, boys, but... It's going to be hard for me to get up there as well. 
Yeah, these castles are very hard to assault. Too much green. Here we're going. Very badly. There's no way this is going to lead to a victory. That's okay. That's why we got a good healer. Our guys are just getting wounded. Their guys are getting killed. As long as we come back here and attack them again sometime soon. Then I can have a chance to recover, and we'll recover in full. And that's my way of doing things in this game. It's really bad looking at how many we kill compared to they kill. And if that's the case, then we're winning. Only slightly, though. Of course, talking about my guys, not my allies, exactly, because they might not even be here for the next fight. Could be a different one. Okay, I gotta get up there and start going into melee. Cleared most of the archers away. Not winning by much, but... Let's see if I can clear up these guys over here. Okay, this tower's taken, that's good. But there's still other towers that need to be cleared. What the fuck, is there everybody shooting at me? Well, actually that could be good if I can draw their fire and just keep dicking them around. I'll give my guys a chance to get in there. Too low on health now. There's no way we're going to win. We've lost too many men. Hundred of them down. That's out of four hundred. Still waiting on my reinforcements to show up. Is it turn them on their side so I can shoot them? So this battle here didn't go too well, and I doubt I'm going to be able to get another fight in there, so I might just pull out now. We'll just have a look at how wounded we are to determine whether or not... Well, we've got 217 left. Those guys are out of the fight. Alright, I'm just going to go straight back to Verona. Pick up some more troops. Hopefully, uh, or at least we got some money out of that. So what else? I'm just going to lose money. Wait, is Strabo going by me? I don't think it is, but let me check. 
Yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Ooh, well, that's a lot. I'll take that. Oh, whoops. Okay, good. Uh, what else do I need? I need... Uh, there's no, no merchants or anything here. At least I know there's a lot of troops there. So just head straight back over there and just keep being persistent. Who's that? Holy Roman Empire. Oh shit. I just attacked them. Fuck it. Oh shit, we're massively outnumbered here. How am I looking though? I should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. I gotta be careful because there's also a Holy Roman Empire army right around the corner. Who might actually be involved in this fight as well. Got plenty of reinforcements at Strabag, so I'm not really concerned if we lose a lot of men. I don't particularly like this this battleground here though. But we have to make do. I'm not gonna be able to shoot any of them from this distance. Also, that's a lot of cavalry. guys to start chasing me so I can uh, start dismounting them. Alright, good. They should start chasing me now. Or not. Could be a problem if I don't bleed. get rid of their horses. Luckily I'm on my fast horse. I don't think it's lame, so I should be able to outrun them. Probably gonna get fucked in doing so, but whatever. If I can save a heap load of my guys, then that's kind of worth it. Make sure I'm not running into an obstacle or something. Get them to charge in on those other infantry. We should be able to outnumber and outpower them. Or oh, that cavalry's chasing us over here. guys all chasing one person and you can see the battle's actually going really well and this is probably their best units right now that they use up Fuck. I need to make sure I don't take too much damage either which is why it's good I brought up fast horse Cavalry, I'll be able to go out there and uh, help kill their archers and something. Whatever. There's too many of them left. Oh fuck, I was worried about this. This is the problem with fighting on difficult terrain. I can't keep eyes, I don't have eyes in the back of my head. many horses left. A lot of guys getting wounded. Not good, going to need them for the next fight. Fuck. 
take the damage. Okay, that's the last of their cavalry. How are we going so far? We're winning, but only by a small amount. But now's the time we start actually getting some kills. As in me. I just don't like this terrain very much. We'll just need sort of flat open land. That's it. If they come in there and get into the fight, I can outflank them. Oh shit, they got a lot of reinforcements there. It's all fucking cavalry. Oh, here we go again. Oh, that is if I don't get fucking lanced. This army is just superior to mine. I can't do anything much about this. This terrain fucking sucks. one. This war went badly. Why does this keep happening? We, we were doing fine to begin with, and then as soon as I declare war on someone, it just all goes to shit. Every single fucking time. I just can't have enough lords. Alright, how are we going now? Very badly. I'm going to tell my guys to hold a position, because this is just not working. versus 60. I'm not winning this. And because I think I initiated the fight, but I'm not certain. I might be able to leave after this particular fight. Win or lose. If I am able to leave, I should probably make it to Strasbourg as quickly as I can. Ah, oh, this this battlefield just does not work for me. I'm gonna leave. We're gonna leave. Good. It just it was just not the right place to fight. He's chasing after us. Every second we delay, the better. Ugh, come on, what a dick. Alright, we actually outnumber him. Please give me a good good place to fight. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Come on, man. Oh, well. We outnumber the moment full health. The location that we fight matters drastically in this game. If it was a flat open land, I could easily beat them. But when there's lots of trees and hills and everything, I just can't work properly as, as cavalry. Ah, fuck them. A lot of cavalry there, need to dismount them. Some idiots can face me. Sure, my horse isn't lamed. This is an alright place to fight, I guess. Good, dismounting all these guys should give me a pretty good advantage. Then again, does slow them down as well. Oh, 
that many of them left. Last one. Alright, good. Nope. Oh, I can do it this way, I think. Maybe not, not if it doesn't come at me head on. kills that I can get will help even the odds. In my, oh, the odds are already pretty even, but push them more on my scale. In my favour. What are they doing? Whatever, I don't even care. Where's everyone else? Most of my guys, I'm just going to tell the charge. Who's got more men on the field? We do good. Only slightly though. But they're all spread out. That's not going to do any good when all my guys charge at once. They've got all their archers up front and their cavalry at the back. It's not going to be very good. They got some more reinforcements. Just asked by the look of them. Nothing too severe. by 50% if you want to beat me, bitch. Four of them left. Let's hope we get to capture him. Put him in a cell. Got him. Excellent. And I get some extra troops. That's always useful. Not enough to fill me up completely. Also, that'll certainly help for money. Okay, so we go back to Strabag, see if I can get just a couple of guys, and then head to Verona. I need to put this guy in prison. And then make our way back there. Also, before we do that, I need to know something. Faction? Or is it? Where is it? Um, Basil, who owns this? Belongs to me. Oh, that's okay, I don't care. 
What am I doing here again? Oh, that's right. Let's recruit one lance, that's fine. Get back to Verona. I gotta try and take that settlement as fast as possible. The Holy Roman Empire showing up to this war really does not help me. Oh, come on, guys. We won the fucking battle, bitch. Visit the tavern. Need to get their hookers on. There he is. Give him that one, and I'll take these. And I'll go to the manor and sell them. Good bit of cash. It's enough to hire a group of mercenaries. Not that I particularly need them right now. Alright, we gotta head back over there. Uh, there's probably guys over there as well. The enemies. Just gotta keep putting the pressure on them. I'm not really interested in, in looting. Although it looks like my guys are... Hang on, there's some guys over here. What's going on? There's about 300 of them. We've got about 300. So you can see my guy was about to try and run away. I'm not gonna let him do that, he's coming in to fight with me. Okay, we're outnumbered, but not by heaps. And because we made the attack, if things go badly, we can always run away. Also, this is the kind of field where I've got the advantage here. Now we did manage to fight these and kill a few of them last time. Also, because this guy's got a lot of captives, any casualties we take will likely be restored. As far as numbers are concerned, I mean, not the exact troop. and run here, motherfuckers. Come chase me. Really miss that tree. Should probably be a bit more careful where I'm riding. Dismounting all these cavalry is definitely me pulling my weight. Guys are getting some kills already. Time to charge now. Because that'll be all of my guys versus half of theirs. They should be able to win. So far, looks like they're doing quite well. Just dismount the last this cavalry here. Can go and help them kill. Yeah, see, look at all that green. It's, it's not really green, it's more like, nah, whatever. Some people get on my case, but it's fucking pedantic shit, and they're like, oh, you colored wine legend, it's clearly not green, it's, it's aqua, or greeny blue, whatever. Oh, my horse 
did. It doesn't really matter. I did what I needed to do. Just meant the cavalry. We have a look here now. Oh, it's actually not going that well. What I should do? Get off this horse and get on a heavier one. care about getting rid of their cavalry now because all my formations are broken up it's just all that charge just get in there and kill as many, many as I can especially these archers oh man what the fuck it's supposed to be armored horse came to save me. I'm fucking for armor. I want every kill I get from now on is sort of my bonus. Like sudden death here, bitches. Talking about this is what I like to do. Fuck defending yourself. Just get in there and have some fun. Oh, there I go. Okay, so how do we go with that? Okay, we're winning by a mile. That's great. Let me just check that again. So 28 plus 28, that's what, 56? Yep, plus allies, couple. So it's like 70 to 120. No, it's probably a little bit less than that. We've got more men on the field than they do as well. There'll probably be another fight after this as well, so that'll help. Uh, I think we've yeah we've taken the numerical superiority off them and with all their cavalry gone unless I've got some more on this one we should be much better so I've lost half my health but I'll be okay I just hope we managed to capture some of their lords put them in prison Chasing me, bitch. Or kill the rider, whichever. 
Probably the rider would be preferable, but it's easy to kill the horse. Got a bit close there. That was silly. That's okay, I'm not even needed on this particular fight. We can just hit without me. That being said, because they got me, might as well use me. Running into them like that, stop them from shooting my guys. Which is, of course, the goal here. It's also the goal to kill them. Give my guys time to get over here without hindrance. Oh, there goes my horse. Fools withdrawing. You might want to turn around and look behind you, motherfuckers. Oh, they're moving forward. Definitely winning. I'm at least give it a crossbowman. Nineteen of them, nearly fifty of us on the field. Kinda of wish they'd give me the auxiliary fighter, but it was already in the fight. Always find myself bloody running to the fight and then getting killed straight away. They seem to be in retreat now. Just in time for it to be up. There we go. So just that's it. Victory! Oh, they all fucking escaped. Gypped. Oh well, at least we're not, they're not going to bother us again for a little while. Because obviously they've been defeated. But they'll be back. Still, we use this time. Slight reprieve. To, uh... 
to go and take that settlement off them. I still got upwards of 300 men in the garrison. Look at if my guys would actually show up to the bloody campaign. Well, that guy kind of is, isn't he? Well, he's kind of got wrecked as well. Hang on, hang on, there's more guys over here. How many men do I have? 82. I need to go to Strasbourg to pick up some more troops. Three lances recruited. It's okay. Still got plenty in reserve, but we just need to keep being aggressive. How are we going for? I'm at 30% percent health. That's not good. 300 men there. I could take them on if I was at full strength. Now have a look at the notes. Let's go factions. I'm going to have a look at these guys. Who are they at war with? They're just at war with me. Well, that's annoying. Has had the upper hand in the fighting. Yeah, great. Okay, then we're looking to here. Uh, what are we looking at? So we're winning the fight. Who else are they at war with? No one. So we're fighting a war on two fronts against people that aren't. That gives us a disadvantage. Alright, I think I might end the video here. So that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 17's next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.